Hello guys, full time at the Emirates Stadium and it is Arsenal 3, West Ham 1, 3 points for Unai Emery, his first win as Arsenal manager and safe to say it did not look as if it was always going to go that way. Anyone thinking that after the travails of Manchester City and Chelsea that we would turn up and have it easy and have it all our way today was wrong and I have to admit I was probably one of those people I was wrong I thought this would be very comfortable I'd seen little bits and pieces of West Ham there was nothing in their team nothing in their squad that particularly worried me certainly nothing in their form they came into the game pointless as well but we really really struggled for these three points and ultimately I think the scoreline has to be described as flattering we started flat. We were not good going forward. We were not good in defence. In terms of the team lineup, well, Meza Erzul, it emerged earlier today, was ill. I mean, some reports from ESPN Brazil, of all people, suggesting that that may not be the real reason that he's out of the team. Difficult to give too much credence to that at this early stage. I'm sure Emery will be asked about it in his post match press conference. I'm sure he'll say he was ill. Um, we'll have to wait and see with that one. But Aaron Ramsey came in and there was a little bit of a change to the system. Ramsey wasn't playing as he did against City, that kind of uh, number 10 role pushing right beyond Aubameyang at times. It was more of a midfield three with Gunduzi and Shaka. Shaka looked to me like the deepest of the three with uh, Ramsey and Gunduzi bombing on. Ramsey slightly more of the two. Iwobi kept his place on the left, Mkhitaryan on the right and Aubameyang up front. But we didn't really have any fluency to our play whatsoever. Um, I mean, I know Ozil was poor against Chelsea, but you'd probably say we missed him today. We didn't have that kind of intelligent passing play in our midfield that we are, I suppose, accustomed to. And at the back, we were so vulnerable. I mean, I think calling us a, a work in progress still on the defensive front is probably being kind. We were ragged. We were a mess. And West Ham do not have... A striker, a centre forward in Marko Arnautovic, who you associate someone with blistering pace, you could threaten him behind, but we, he got him behind time and time again. Mikel Antonio had the running of Hector Bellerin, who looked isolated, and ultimately we were playing a high line, and we looked like a team who didn't know how to do that. Players within the back four were stepping up, dropping off, all without any kind of coordination between each other. A better team than West Ham would have finished the game in the first half, really put us to the sword. As it happened, we just conceded the one goal, Arnautovic, of all people. I'd hate to see him do well against us, firing in from the edge of the box. But fortunately, we got one back before half-time. Monreal, who was probably the steadiest defender on the day. Uh, Bellerin whooped across, a, uh, across, a, across the box. That was to become a feature of the day. As poor as he was in defence, Bellerin, he was good going forward. Almost as if that increased emphasis on the attacking side of his play is costing him defensively. Uh, but anyway, the ball eventually came to Montreal. He finished for 1-1. We got in at half-time. 1-1 at half-time. I was delighted with that, given the performance. And Emery showed that ruthlessness, that decisiveness that he's shown since the start of the season, really. He brought uh, Iwobi off and brought Lacazette on. And suddenly, Aubameyang and Lacazette together, even though Aubameyang was out wide, seemed to have a bit more threat about them. They seemed to play off each other. They seemed to combine. They seemed to come to life. I'm convinced that that is a, an option that is staring Emery in the face. And for some of these home games, particularly against teams like West Ham, I think it's something we can afford. I think it's something we need to do. You know, people say, oh, Bebeang won't score as many goals if he plays out wide. But if he gets 20 and Lacazette gets 20, that's 40. That's more than Aubameyang on his own getting 30. You know, I think we need to look at what maximises things for the team. Lacazette gives you a physical presence. He gives you a focal point. I, I thought he was good today and he was involved in what I suppose was the winning goal, really, the second goal, uh, holding the ball up well inside the penalty box, looking for Aubameyang. It looked like it had gone in off the striker for the, his first of the season. In fact, it was an own goal off Jupp. Um, Aubameyang came off shortly afterwards for Danny Welbeck, and he got the third and final goal in stoppage time. Another Bellerin cutback. Welbeck turned on it and finished with his left foot. Unusually composed, maybe, from Welbeck. I know that he was reportedly close to leaving the club on deadline day, but I think he's got a real role to play this season. And I do think when you look at the three strikers we have, they all seem to be better with a mate alongside them. If you think back to the start of last season, some of Lacazette's best games played with Danny Welbeck next to him. Lacazette we've seen combine well with Aubameyang. I just feel like two of those three on the pitch 
is a positive thing for Arsenal. And I, Emery's changes at half-time almost shifted the emphasis of the team. You know, it was almost like he recognised, I can't fix the back four at half-time. But in bringing Lacazette on, I might be able to give West Ham enough to worry about defensively that it becomes less of a problem. You know, we have to play to our strengths, as Liverpool did before they signed Virgil van Dijk. You know, they couldn't really defend, but they had some great attacking players and they maximised that. I think that is kind of what is required at Arsenal. Um, Anyway, three points on the board. Look, it's a building block. It's somewhere to go. We are not there yet by a long stretch. Um, We don't look like a top four team yet, but we've got a run of fixtures now where we could hopefully put some form together and maybe look a bit more like one in you know a few weeks' time. All right, guys, here's the three points. Bye-bye.